YouTube. Short little video today. I'm going to talk about more false tones, especially the double pedal, which is also a false tone. So I learned something in the last couple days, and that's uh, that all those false tones I've talked about, which is basically just one, are actually all partials of a whole false tone series. And so I'll show you what all they are. So the, B, the trombone here is in B flat, right? It's nine feet long. Well, the false tones are in B natural, but like an octave and a major seventh, or no, just a major seventh below what this trombone is in. And I have no idea how that works. It's a bunch of acoustical properties and physics and things. Don't ask me how. I. It's way beyond my knowledge. Anyway, that means you get four good false tones, and of course only two of those are actually useful. The bottom, or the fundamental, of all that false tone series is the double pedal B. And it's actually just technically a pedal B for the, uh, a trombone, but we're going to call it the double pedal. And that happens by going a major seventh below the pedal B flat. So I'll give you an example. I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but that's a that's a pedal B. That's the same note as on a bass trombone. Since I can do this, it's the same note as this. And you can hear they don't sound quite the same. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the the pedal B with the the slide and the valves and stuff sounds a little bit better. Well, that's that's a that's a different point. So don't worry about it. So that's the fundamental. The next partial you get is an octave and a fifth, yes, an octave and a fifth above that. And that's the false note I talked about in my other video, this one. That's an F sharp. So that's an octave and a fifth above that pedal B. So there's two partials we have. The next one is an octave and uh, two octaves and a third above that. And that's on an F bending down to an E flat. That's the same partial. This is hard to explain, but that's the same partial as the D above the staff. Make any sense? Probably not. Anyway, the next partial above that is uh, is an A below tuning B flat. And that's the same partial as the high, the high A flat in first, the really flat one that you don't use. You play G in a sharp second or something like that. That's the same partial as that. So it should actually be a flat A in first position. And that's kind of hard to lift down. That's a that's a more difficult one. Those are all the the false tones that I really know about. And I'm, I'm sure there's more higher. But they get really hard to bend down that far, and they they bend down less and less for each one. You'll notice that the first partial, the pedal B, you bend down a whole major seventh. That's a long ways. And then the next one up that you can do is only a major third. That's like half of that, something like that. And then the next one is only a major second, which is yeah, it's half of, yeah, it's half of that. And the next one is half of that. So they each. They get smaller and smaller as they go up. So the next one up is probably just a quarter tone, and you know it, it gets complicated. And even the top two that I just played there, the the E flat and the A, are totally useless. There's no reason to use those. I guess if you really wanted to, you could play like a B flat in sixth position, which you know if you really want to. Let's see if I can even do that. You can, so if you had some weird, crazy passage, you needed to do that. You have a B flat in sixth position. I don't know why you'd ever need that. But there you go. And so those that's an overview of the the fake trombone, the low B trombone. And it gives you an overview of all those false tones. And then next I'll tell you about the double pedal and how that works. All right. So the double pedal. Double pedal is probably the most useful, at least for me, out of all the false tones. Because 
since I play bass drum almost the time, I don't need the next false tone up, which is in my other video that I that I show for like tenor and stuff like that. I've used it before, but the the double pedal is as few of those you play in, in literature is actually more useful for me. So for this, it helps if you can play good pedal notes first. Don't just go, hey, I can play a low F. I'm gonna play a double pedal B flat, because that is a an octave and a fifth away. Like it's it's way down there, and these notes are not especially useful. So don't go around just playing these all the time because they're not that much of a use. <clears throat> so, and if you uh, in the earlier segment, I just slurred down from pedal B flat all the way to pedal B, a major seventh, and I'll do that again. That's pretty good pedal B. And you'll notice that's a major seventh, that's not an octave. All the other B flats are in first position. But now I have a B natural in first position. That means all the double pedals are an entire position away, down the slide from their actual, what they used to be up above. So double pedal B flat is actually in second position. And so on and so forth. A is in third position, A flat is in fourth position, and you know, if you can get far enough, they'll they'll all be in a position out. And so these notes don't sound as good if you don't practice them like a, a lot and a lot and a lot. And I practice them some so they sound okay, but they don't sound as good as the real notes on the trombone. For instance, the low B I showed in the other one doesn't sound as good as the, the pedal B doesn't sound as good in first as it does with the slide in, you know, fifth, sixth position, whatever it is. And the same thing goes for pedal B flat, double pedal B flat. I can also play that with both triggers and the end of the slide. The problem with that note is that one, it doesn't sound good in the first place, and two, I'm playing through literally the entire trombone. I'm using every length of tubing that I have to make that one note. And that makes it sound kind of pinched and it makes it really hard to play, especially with valve valves like I have. So, instead of doing that, you can play it in second position, make it a lot easier. And of course, these notes are really hard to hear, so you really need to know where you're playing them. You can play that note like a fifth out of tune if you want to, and in that position. I mean, if I can slur from first position all the way from pedal B flat to pedal B, I, I can get a lot of notes in that position. There's like a pedal, double pedal A flat in first position. It doesn't sound as good as the actual position, which is fourth but I can still do it. So you need to be really secure in where you're playing those notes. And so make sure you're listening to yourself. If you're playing these in like a loud uh, band room or something with everyone else playing, you're probably not going to be nailing them. So make sure you're doing this in your own practice time in a small room, really listening for those overtones to make sure you're nailing those notes. And let's see how low I can go today. I'll play from B flat down. I can barely get an F. The F sharp was not that good. And I could barely hear those. Like, I'm almost losing the pitch on all those notes. Because I don't practice them very often. I work just the pedal, double pedal B flat in my warm up every day, and then I call it good. So, hopefully, that serves as a good primer. Just make sure you've got good actual pedal tunnels before you start doing these.